And welcome back everyone, it's me, Picky Gaming here. Welcome back to more Mutants Genetic Gladiators news. So guys, uh, before I start off, I, I always forget to do this, but um, all of this information comes from the Pokerville Facebook page. Uh, as always, links in the description below, guys. If you want to know this information before I get it out to you, follow him over on Facebook. He pastes this information up on his Facebook page. So what I'm saying is pretty much what he pastes, so... It's up to you guys if you want to watch my videos or go follow him. <laughs> anyway, guys, so a lot of news to cover today. Want to get it done. It's supposed to be working, but I'm recording because I love you guys. Here we go. <laughs> so back for 24 hours only. Mutant every day. We'll go through it one by one. Time to get an edge. Uh, level six and le level six attack and health orbs. Now these are the time orbs, which I think they give you 10 battles, and then they'll. They'll disappear into thin air. They'll they'll disintegrate. So you know, again, it's it's a good it's a good aspect. You know, time to get an edge. So you're going to get more attack and more health. You you wouldn't want to have a defensive team with this on because they'll only survive ten battles and then they'll disappear. That's the way I believe it should work anyway. Limited offer seventy five percent for the uh, compound thing. So you know, I normally like to pick up a couple of the. Uh, the one in the middle, the, the really good one, because they you get more credits from them. So especially if you've got bounty hunters or any sort of mutants that has a lot of earns a lot of credit, they uh, they'll earn a <laughs> that's the best compound to have it on because it stores a lot more credits. You'll probably hear the dog walk in, in a minute on the floor. Um, on the warpath, three mutants for gold. Exceptional bank offer. Jeez, we've got um we've got the uh, Midas. Trust the Midas touch. He's back again with an ex exceptional bank offer. I don't like these. I'll, I'll get into it when we get into the individual part of the video about it. Uh, back and updated zoom off box. I don't know if I want to summon on it. I don't think there's any more zoom off creatures I need or the good ones that I need anyway. Uh, buy two, get one, <laughs> buy two, get one free. Uh, level 5 shield orbs. I might pick up one of those. Crazy credit offers. Gold to get to get a couple of million of credits. Got a new mutant in, guys. I'm glad to see them with mutant. We'll um, we'll go through it in in a, in a second because there's also another new new mutant scheduled to be released soon as well. So let's jump over into the next week, guys. So back for 24 hours. We've got uh, mutant every day as per usual. Go through them one by one. Now, uh, now it is back. So level four. <laughs> okay, now it is back. They didn't they just do four, five, six, seven boxes one per day sort of thing so it's not hasn't been that long but research four is back so you know again if you want to summon on that up to you exceptional bank offers again i'll word what i want to say about these when i get to them individually uh come play with us three mutants for gold limited offer uh i'm gonna say real money for the reactor tokens if it's gold i'm definitely gonna take it but i'm i'm gonna assume it's real money um Another Zodiac Mutant just rotating, as it always does every fortnight. Uh, limited offer, Cyberbox. Up to you whether you want to summon. Yeah, I, I, again, I don't know. I should I should have a look at, to see which one fills out the uh, the reactor. No. Uh, forges, just see, you know, if it's a if it's a cyber box, I might a cyber mutant, I might summon on it. So I'll, I'll I'll have to look that up. Buy two, get one free. Retaliate orb, level five of them. So, um, higher than the sky festival. So, this is what I believe this is to do is it's um, it's the exper uh, experiment mutant, and I believe, and I don't know if I'm gonna have the picture. I might be able to pop it up next to me, guys. Now, but the festival, I'll let you know now. That's in relation to. Uh, Oren. Okay, so I just got a phone call during the recording because, as I said, I'm supposed to be working, but who cares about that? Anyway, so the festival's in, rela in relation to the uh, Oren mutant. So, as I've said before, um, or I, as you probably know, I use him still to this day. So it's a it's a high tier mutant. He may not be top tier because he's so squishy, but he, he'll be the next tier down at the very least. But the amount of damage he does makes up for that, guys. So, you know, if you haven't got him, definitely try and get him. 
so let's go through things one by one, guys. Well, sorry. <laughs> I always forget. In the next picture, I'm like, hey, that's not it. But anyway, two new mutants coming out. Let's see the first one now. You got this fish sort of um, creature here. Double zoom morph, so I'm a bit like, uh, and it's a bleed, so even more. Uh, I I'm not a fan of bleed. That's just me anyway. Um, let's see. It's, it's just, yeah, it's half the damage, so it's not like Glubber where it does more damage doing spread attack well not more damage than a single attack but normally when it's a spread attack it's half the damage of its singular attack uh glub is different it, it does more than half the damage of its singular attack so it's always better to do a spread attack with him however with this guy it's a bit different um basically for me it all comes down to how high high of a percent that bleed is when you attack him is a hundred percent of the damage comes out as bleed i i don't know we'll we'll have to see I'll still get him because it's a new mutant and I'll try and do a spotlight video on him. It's just hard to level up the mutants. I've said that so many times now it's getting stale. But this is one of the... So, yeah, we'll, we'll find out the price when we get to it. I know what it will be, but yeah. And the next mutant, guys, coming up is this weird-looking eye one. It's it's a very unusual-looking mutant. Um, I thought I'd see a custom-made mutant for me entering in the game rather than this. But <laughs> no, uh, but... Yeah, this looks an unusual mutant, and when you look at it, you, it could only be... It, it, it was going to be double Necro or Necro Alien. Could possibly be w, double Alien too, but that's the only categories that that would fit in looking at that. We don't know the skills of it. Uh, sorry, what, what special ability it does, whether it's Shield Boost. Uh, most likely be Life Suck if it's a Necro. Well, that that are, that is the odds anyway. But that's the next one coming at some point in time. We don't know where, if it's the experimental or whether it's the, um, it could be replaced in, um, in the raid, maybe. But who knows? Who knows? So, guys, one by one, let's get into it. 19th, uh, 19th, 10th, 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th, you got these mutants. None are top tier. Basically, if you haven't got the credit mutants, get the credits because they're just for credit. So, basically, free mutants helps you fill out bingo grids. And then with the other two for, ca uh, for cash, for gold, always... Look at your bingo grid, check, see if, what position they are on the bingo grid, see if they feel out anything important and whether you can make a profit on them. 13th, 14th, and 15th. I'm liking the credits for this this upcoming week because you've got a, got a few mutants for credits. Uh, you got these ones. That Rachni. Oh, that's a, that's a platinum one. Oh, cool. I don't think it's still worth it, but anyway. Um... Uh, I liked Bones and Roses. That did help me a lot during the campaign. However, I don't use him anymore. I've actually frozen him because I'm just trying to make roof on my rooftop. Not trying to make room on my rooftop, not roof on my rooftop. <laughs> I don't know. Don't know what I'm saying. Trying to rush through. Uh, same dealio, guys. Get the credit mutants if you haven't got them. Check to see what uh, the Rachni one fills out. And then you got the Midas here for real money. $25, $50, and $100. Now, look. I like the idea of this where, you, you know, they, because let's face it, games have got to try to earn money. I'm not against that. However, I am against how much this is worth. Midas is not a top tier mutant. Um, and even if that was a top tier mutant of uh, Still Garden, don't charge that much. I'd say 5, 10, 20 bucks rather than 25, 50, 100. That, that's, that's all I'm going to say. That's what it should be. You got these orbs in, but just remember that they're, they're temporary orbs. They will disintegrate once they use their 10 or so usage, how much it is. But 250 gold, I'll probably pick some up because I've got the gold. 500 gold to get 5 million credits. Up to you whether you get that. I don't know if it's worthwhile getting that to upgrade. Is it? Is Can you upgrade more with 5 million credits than 5,500 gold? Probably. Um, buy one, get two... Uh, buy two, get one free. Level five shield orbs for 600 gold. I'll probably get that up. Compounds, I'm definitely going to pick up the uh, the compounds. 500 gold. I thought they were all on sale, like half price. But anyway, if that's on sale for that, I'll still pick one or two up. We'll see how, how my gold situation is. Uh, you got this mutant. I don't think I've got her, so I might pick her up. Don't know if she feels out anything in the bingo grid, but she's not a high tier. You don't see her being used. Zoom off box, 500 gold per summon. I'll, again, I'll have to see how much Zoomorph Mutants I'm missing and do the calculation and odds. Uh, this is one of the Mutants where it's buy three for Mutants for gold. 
pretty much see how much you got of them and all that. I doubt that they're going to feel out anything important in the bingo grid, but just have a look at them, guys. If, if you're missing two, maybe worth. If you're missing three, then, you know, it's, it's a good time to buy them at that price. Next week, guys, 16th, 17th, 18th, and 19th. You got Footbot there, the only one available for credit. Understandable considering how much credit mutants were available last week. Uh, so get Footbot if you haven't got him because it's credits and look up the others to see if they feel out anything important. None of top tier again. So nothing important that you have to get there. 20th, 21st, and 22nd. These ones. So again, pick up the credit mutants if you haven't got it. Uh... Other two, again, not top tier. You know, it's it's just bingo grid material. So check to see what they feel out. And that's the only thing that they'll be useful for. Got six reactor tokens for $10 we do. So yeah, it's real money. Up to you whether you want to do it. Reactor tokens are better than challenge tokens and things like that. So, you know, keep that in mind. $5 so you can pick up Nora. Nora used to be a good mutant, but now I'd prefer uh, Buffalo or Sound Killer. Got another one for $10. Again, they, they just go too high in value. I feel that they do, and they're not top-tier mutants. Got a cyber box, seven of gold per summon. We'll see if we spin on that. Got the buy two, get one, three, re level five retaliate orbs for 600 gold. Up to you. Uh, level six research box, guys, 750. Again, uh, <sighs> I, I've got a lot of those mutants filled out. And then you've got the rest of these mutants. Again, they're just too expensive to, to make me want to buy. Again, it's like five, ten, go up by five dollars each one sort of thing. That's what I would suggest. May get more sales out of it from Celsius. Um, Bounder, 1,700 gold. It's a heroic mutant, but it's a, you don't see it being used. And then you've got the uh, um, Zodiac mutant that's rotating around every time so again you don't see them being used they're not top tier just see what they feel it out in zibingo grid you got the uh the three minutes for gold just check to see how many of them you have and don't have in order to buy them uh the fish mutant as i said guys before any new mutant that comes out in the game they're going to do this ten dollars to buy the base version if you want to spend real money or three thousand gold if you want to buy a gold version of it guys so that's what they did with steel garden when he originally came out and all that that's why i always say guys save three thousand gold minimum okay and then anything you have more than three thousand you can spend that but save at least three thousand because this is what they do with new mutants this is what happened to steel garden and if you missed out on steel garden Unfortunately, I don't think they'll come back and do that again. It's it's just new mutants. That's what, that's what they do that for, guys. So, again, save your, save your gold, get at least 3,000, and you can always get a new mutant if it comes out, and you'll see if people rave about it or not. Anyway, guys, that is it for the news this week, guys. So try to power through it. There was a bit there. Wanted to make sure I get the information at the start. But anyway, guys... As per usual, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. You want to go that little extra further, help your party pick you out. Feel free to share this video on any social media platform or form as you see fit. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you all next time. Bye!